new Whisker Seeker Fish Fry product in the mail the other day. Uh, Matt and the guys uh, put this together and I was not able to try it uh, before it went into production and everything. So I just got some in the mail and I'm gonna run out and see if I can't catch a few channel cat, do a little catch clean cook video, maybe some blue cat too, I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna get the boat hooked up, go get launched, and I'll be right back. There we go, it's about time. Little old bitty fiddler. If I don't catch a good one, I'm gonna move. I know there's fish in here, I see them. There we go. Another tiny one. That may be the same fish. There we go. That's a better fish. Not a big fish by any means, but it's a better fish. There we go. Oh, it come off. I wasn't paying attention. Bobber went under. I was looking off to see if I saw any fish moving around. Little bite. Something messing with it. It's just a little old fiddler, I guess. Another one, I just pulled it right out of its mouth. Yeah. That hook's really dull. Seen a little too much action. that I pulled was pulling that up to cast it and there was another one messing with it I'm gonna shorten that bobber again just a little bit just a few inches if I'd have caught all the ones that bit when I had that bad hook on there I'd be done and out of here. Get right up there in them rocks. Whew. Man, that stink bait. Stanky, stanky. There we go. There we go, Skeeter. <laughs> that one won't keep. Another little old dink. Well, change of plans. So um, I uh, threw the lines in the water, caught a couple fish, and I have been trying to teach Skeeter here, back there, um, how to, uh, to to stay away from the hooks and the baits. And I had her pretty pretty well trained with um, cut bait, still have to watch her, but she is just all over that punch bait. And uh, the last uh, you know few weeks when I've been fishing with the punch bait, and I've really, really been watching her, I've really been on her, and I just turned my back for a second, and uh, she grabbed hold of a hook and got a hook in her mouth. And uh, 
she it scared her and she ran and jerked on the fishing rod and pulled it tight and um, it, it's buried in her mouth pretty good so I have had to uh, haul out of there really quickly and I'm in the truck now um, trying to get to emergency vet it's in the top of her mouth right in the front and uh, I'm kind of worried uh, it's so close to, to her nose and her nasal, nasal cavity and I can't hold her by myself and kind of look in there to uh, to see you know what's going on or where it is and I couldn't find anybody close that was readily available that could help me so uh, I'm gonna get to the vet and uh, see what uh, what's going on hopefully it's nothing major but uh, I'm, it's, I'm just worried she's going to make it worse. So I'm, I'm trying to get there as quick as I can. So uh, we'll see what happens. sedated and is pretty sleepy now but she's gonna be okay uh, I've been trying to teach her to leave the fish hooks alone stay away from them and uh, have have done a really good job with them with the cut bait and got them where she would leave them alone and when I started fishing with punch bait here the last few weeks um, I've been having a real hard time keeping her uh, away from that punch bait just you know that smell of that old nasty cheese and stuff um, It's a little much you All right girl I uh, She had been trying to get up there to those hooks several times. And I really had gotten on to her and uh, She she had left them alone and I just turned my back for a second and she uh, I guess jumped up and grabbed one or, or tried to lick it or something and um, one of the prongs had caught in her lip well when that happened she pulled and pulled back and put tension on the line and pulled it on through and then um, stuck another prong so there were three prongs on that treble hook she got two of them in the top lick luckily the third one didn't go in and luckily it just went into her lip and it didn't go up into the cartilage or anything in her mouth so um, <clears throat> they were able to sedate her and um, cut those prongs off and get the hook out. And um, $435 later, here we are. So, uh, you know, what are you gonna do? It happens. Um, hopefully she learned a good lesson. Uh, everybody I know that fishes for catfish um, that has a dog they take with them has had this happen to them and uh <clears throat> i'll figure out a, a better system going forward to keep this from uh happening again but hopefully she learned a good lesson and uh no permanent damage but it did uh cut my trip very short didn't get to do the catch clean cook like i wanted to so uh i'm gonna go back out hit it again and uh, hopefully that's what we'll be watching next week.